Hi everyone. So I wanted to get this look up before you guys already saw it one too many times. Now I know that there are tons of bridal looks, tons of celebrity inspired looks all over YouTube, but it's really hard to find um, the perfect one or the great one that you're looking for. And I think this is a great um, bridal look that Kim was wearing. It's very much in the vein of a classic Kim Kardashian style look. It just has a strong contour in the crease. A shimmery lid, a high arch of the brow, and then the defined arch, of course, for Kim. And then a nice contour right here in the cheek with her signature pop of color blush. And I have a little bit of a highlight, and then the nice Your Lips But Better color lip. This is very, very much... Um, like I said, in the vein of a classic Kim look, just more nudie and brown and um, a slightly pinker mouth for her. So it's really gorgeous and um, this is what I was able to see from the pictures because they were all shot with the tiara like this looking up. So it was very difficult to, to see it, but I think this is definitely very much in the vein of what she was wearing. So I hope that you enjoy this look and um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Now in order to get Kim Kardashian's look, all you have to do is just make sure that you have a definite arch of your eyebrow. I wouldn't make them more thick than what would, would flatter your actual face shape. I have a little bit of concealer underneath my brow bone and a little bit of Urban Decay Primer Potion in Original from the crease up and under the eye and then I just patted Greed all over the lid so that's exactly what we need to get started. If you don't have greed, then you can just go ahead and skip this step. Now for the look, we're gonna use a little bit of the Urban Decay Naked Palette, since it has all the colors that we need. So you can get all your colors that you need right here, and they're all the size of MAC eyeshadows, but you can feel free to take MAC eyeshadows, or even the Wet n Wild Vanity Palette, or any of their other neutral palettes if you need a drugstore option. So for the eyelid colors, or sorry, the crease colors, we took a little bit of Naked and a little bit of Buck. I just dabbed into Naked and then I dabbed into Buck. Started in the outer corner and just did circular motions and sort of fluffed all of that out, just like this. And then once I ran out of pigmentation, I just started into the inner area with a little bit of Naked only. And we just grab into that color, just starting to do circular motions. And when I get to this particular point of the inward crease area, we're just gonna start blending and then start kind of cascading upwards towards the very tip of the brow bone. I stop about like a centimeter under the brow bone. So I'm just doing this sort of little backwards wedge shape and it sort of just sort of cascades down. This, the line of the eyeshadow in the crease is not straight on. It just sort of goes here and goes down, as you can see. Now I forgot to press record, so that's why I'm kind of doing it now. Sorry about that. So we're just going to do Buck and Naked in the outer corner again. Since I did add pigment over here, we're just going to even them out. And we're just going to blend out buck and naked into the outer corner and then I'm just gonna pick up a little bit more naked only and we're just going to do that little wedge guy shape. Kim's looks are always really interesting because they're never like obvious uh, eyeshadow designs. They're always very well blended and interesting. I'm sure she did not use the naked palette for her wedding because I don't think that she re it, you know gravitates to Urban Decay. I'm sure she uses very high-end designer brands, like, you know, she goes for NARS and Chanel, but um, in the interest of giving you something uh, more affordable, since we all don't have her budget, this is a great palette if you would like to replicate her wedding makeup or if you like to wear it to your own wedding. Now her brows actually look really kind of threaded to me, so we're just going to kind of elim uh, emulate that sort of likeness. I'm going to take a little bit of NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, and we're just going to start lightly dabbing that on underneath the arch of the brow bone. You look at people with like threaded eyebrows, they have this sort of like natural kind of like light underneath their arch of their brow bones. 
I'm not sure why that is. I'm not sure if it's just because they have such a clean under eye arch that they like to emphasize it by putting on a very alabaster highlight or what it is, but... Or if that's just a natural effect you get from threading your brows. So I'm just going to start buffing that down with a cream shadow brush. Obviously this is an effect I'm creating. I'm very positive she did not wear an extreme eye pencil underneath her brow. And we're just going to start buffing that down. This is just synthetic brush. Anything with tackle on hair is, is great with cream products. Anytime you just need to intensify the glow, like it's a little more intense. Here, right underneath the arch, just dab that in. This is better than taking like a white cream shadow because that's definitely not what she had underneath her brow bone. Now for the lid, we're just going to take a little bit of Sin, just that pretty sort of champagne color. It's a champagne-y pink color. This is more of the true champagne color. So I'm going to take a little bit of Sin. Even if you have pale skin, I'd probably still go ahead with the Sin color. Just not for the brow bone, obviously. And we're just going to feather that in. Now for this step, you can actually go ahead and take concealer powder. I'm just going to set over the top of the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk with like a concealer color. This is Max Ore, but like I said, you could just take your skin tone powder. You don't have to try to reach for another eyeshadow that's not in the Naked Palette. Though I wish they would have put a color like this in the Naked Palette. A color like this is in the Wet n Wild Vanity Palette, though, just like this color. So I'm glad they knew to do that. And then we're just going to fluff that out underneath the brow bone. I think if we were to put shimmer right on top of this NYX Jumbo Pencil, it would get kind of stuck in the, in the tackiness and you get like a really funny line. Anytime I put shimmer over the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils, it's like kind of a disaster. So I like to set a matte before I go in and do it. I only use the NYX Jumbo Pencils to create like a brightness, really. Also take care of the crease in case you get a little crazy with the crease. Now I'm going to take a little bit of Virgin and we're just going to tap that directly underneath the arch of the brow bone. Not go along the entire brow bone. So almost create the illusion that there almost is no brow highlight just at the very tip. So I actually picked up a little bit of Sin on my brush. I'm just going to pat that off onto my eyelid. And then we're just going to tap a little bit of the correct color Virgin underneath the eye arch. Now for underneath the eye, we're just going to take a nudie eyeliner and I'm just taking a matte chromographic pencil that's closest to my skin tone, the uh, NW25NC30, and we're just going to roll that under. You could also take Stila's Topaz. If you can't get any type of concealer pencil, I'm not sure if Milani makes one, but I don't recommend putting concealer underneath your eye. I would just probably place a little bit of concealer, actual concealer, underneath the waterline to sort of get that brightening effect instead, just so the eye doesn't get irritated. And then I'm going to take a little bit of Urban Decay 24-7 pencil in Whiskey. You could take any brown pencil. And we're just going to barely tap that underneath the eye. Now we're definitely going to want to set that. Um, I'm just going to take this tiny little lip brush because it's going to set it nicely. And I'm going to go in with Buck because it's a matte color. And we're just going to pull that over the top of the pencil. Now for mascara, I'm just going to use a waterproof mascara, and I'm just going to take a little bit of Wet n Wild's uh, Makeup Plump Mascara. This is the waterproof one. 
the wine, not no, no, sorry, the wand is slightly bent. It just looks like that. And then you just try to get in as close as you can to the root of the lash. And so forth. I'm in, uh, sorry, I'm gonna take a little bit of Inglot's gel liner number 77. Uh, mostly because this is waterproof, it does stay all day, and anybody who tells you that it's a great liner is telling you the truth, in my opinion. Um, I know it's a little harder to blend out than, let's say, Black Trek Fluid Line, but that's because it's waterproof. And we're just gonna barely dab that along the upper lash line. And then just so it stays all day, I do recommend setting that with a matte black eyeshadow. I'm going to take a little bit of these Mr. Winks uh, Natural Soft Lashes in number 117. They are from JeromeWrestle.com. These are just really, really big and heavy and dense. Um, they are cheaper than packing two pairs of, um, you know, an Ardell lash together. They're about the same size as the Big Mac lashes, but they're only $3.99. So, of course, anybody can go out and just get the Mac lashes if you have a code discount and you want to. They're gorgeous. They're handmade. Uh, they they fit and they feel wonderful. Um, but for people who are on a budget and can't afford Chanel or anything like that, I do recommend uh, these. And they're like they're they're human hair as well. They're just not handmade. So, but once they're on and your whole lips pulled together, no one's going to be like, oh, well, your lashes aren't handmade, so. This is only if you want to wear huge, huge lashes. Um, other pairs that I really love, if you don't want your bit lashes this big, for whatever reason, I recommend the 120 Demi's. I love the Demi Lovelies. These are a little bit long and wispy. The lovely, the Lovies are a little intense, though. So the Demi Lovies are a nice way to go to get that same flare without them being up to your eyebrows. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply these with a little bit of my Kiss Lash Glue. This is only like $3.99 so it's $5 cheaper than Duo and does not contain formaldehyde so I'll be right back. Now for bronzer I do recommend taking a cream simply just because you're going to get a cleaner, softer look. I'm just going to take this uh, Weekend Cream Bronzer and we're going to start shading on the cheekbone. I'm using that same brush I used to apply my foundation because we're going to get a slightly better blend. You can take a different brush if you want, but it is seriously not even necessary, and like I said, you're going to get a better blend if you don't. So we're just going to get that Kim Kardashian sort of contour going. Um, I like to also go like right about here. It's also a really pretty look because it kind of chisels the face down and gives us a touch of sun right there. You can go over the peak of the hairline just so it looks really natural. You can also go down the sides of the nose and get that slender, tiny little... Kim nose. She doesn't. She has a very kind of slender nose, so we're just gonna go like that, and then gonna puff up the lips definitely. So we're just gonna go underneath the chin and just barely tap that because we don't want to get like a mustache effect. I'm gonna take one of my favorite cream blushes, and that is Urban Decay Glide on Cheek Tint and Crush. I love the packaging. I love how slender it is, and just has you know the tiny itty bitty little mirror and the color. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit of Crush, which is that nice melony color, and we're just going to put on a little bit of that in order to get like the Kim Glow, a really natural Kim Glow. She usually has on like a very pinky blush.
I'm gonna take a little bit of Max Shell Cream Color Base because it's actually a really good dupe of the Urban Decay Glide On Highlight Glow in Sin. And we're just gonna put on a little bit of that. Just to get her really beautiful dewy glow. I've seen an ink, like a, a pick at an angle of her look and it's just this very nice, beautiful, strong, but like not too powdery or obvious kind of glow. Just something that looks like you would naturally kind of get on your face. And you could lightly powder your face and pick a very lightweight powder or if you have a skin tone powder, that's fine. I just want to put on a lot because you're going to reduce the sort of nice gleam of all the stuff that's going on. Now if you want to do something under the eyes, I'm sure she probably has the YSL Touche Cloud Glow um, kind of concealer thingy. I'm going to put on the Collection 2000 and we'll be right back. Now for lips, I just lined and filled them in with Urban Decay's Lip Liner in Paranoid. And just the trick is to get a very soft line. It helps to not have your pencil too sharp. And if you want that bit of a pout, you can kind of pencil it in. through the center, that'll sort of naturally contour the lip. And even though it's a little darker right now in the center, it'll definitely make sense when we put the lipstick on. I'm gonna take a little bit of Urban Decay's Naked. Because she does have sort of that juicy pink mouth that's sort of nude, but it's not her typical nude. Normally she's really pale nude. So nothing that pale. But I'm also going to take a little bit of Zoya Glossy Lip Balm in, um, they're from their Hot Lips. This is uh, Starlit. I'm taking this one because it's a nice soft berry color that doesn't have intense pigmentation. And it's not too sticky or glossy. It just kind of dries on. Okay, so that completes our Kim Kardashian bridal look. I hope that too many other people haven't done this by the time mine's up. And thank you. I hope you enjoy trying this out.